Usually, when a car maker turns one of its models into a race car, they have to add power. But when Chevrolet wanted to race the 638 horsepower Corvette ZR1 against Porsche, Ferrari, and BMW, we were asked to dial it back. Oh, about 168 horsepower. You know, just to be fair. Usually, when a car maker turns one of its models into a race car, they have to add power. But when Chevrolet wanted to race the 638 horsepower Corvette ZR1 against Porsche, Ferrari, and BMW, we were asked to dial it back. Oh, about 168 horsepower. You know, just to be fair. Usually, when a car maker turns one of its models into a race car, they have to add power. But when Chevrolet wanted to race the 638 horsepower Corvette ZR1 against Porsche, Ferrari, and BMW, we were asked to dial it back. Oh, about 168 horsepower. You know, just to be fair. Usually, when a car maker turns one of its models into a race car, they have to add power. But when Chevrolet wanted to race the 638 horsepower Corvette ZR1 against Porsche, Ferrari, and BMW, we were asked to dial it back. Oh, about 168 horsepower. You know, just to be fair. Usually, when a car maker turns one of its models into a race car, they have to add power. But when Chevrolet wanted to race the 638 horsepower Corvette ZR1 against Porsche, Ferrari, and BMW, we were asked to dial it back. Oh, about 168 horsepower. You know, just to be fair. Usually, when a car maker turns one of its models into a race car, they have to add power. But when Chevrolet wanted to race the 638 horsepower Corvette ZR1 against Porsche, Ferrari, and BMW, we were asked to dial it back. Oh, about 168 horsepower. You know, just to be fair. Usually, when a car maker turns one of its models into a race car, they have to add power. But when Chevrolet wanted to race the 638 horsepower Corvette ZR1 against Porsche, Ferrari, and BMW, we were asked to dial it back. Oh, about 168 horsepower.